Yes, this is what we need in our lives. More Reagan. Well, that just means there aren't any spirits out there bothering people, right? That's a good point. It is peaceful. Sure is. But at this rate, we'll starve! So we're gonna have to drum up some work on our own. What could go wrong? <laughs> Come on, Mob. We're gonna go learn how to con. Urban Legends! Encountering rumors. And perhaps creating some of our own. How else are we gonna Urban fund legends? our expensive yeah. takoyaki I'm sure addiction? you talked about stuff like that with your friends at least once or twice, right? Not really. Seriously? Because when I was a kid, those sorts of things were all the rage. Yeah, but there was no internet then and, you know, video games. I just had a weird moment. A very weird moment. <laughs> where I realize I'm old. It's funny how time passes, but your perspective doesn't update. Like, I'm still Mob in my mind in this show. I guess understandably to some degree because he's the protagonist. But, I mean, actually, I'm... I'm Reagan, right? Like, in terms of, like, where I fit in my life trajectory, I'm pretty sure I'm older than Reagan, for that matter. One of the weirdest things that ever soured my feelings was when my friend pointed out we had grown older than the character great teacher Arizuka. Although it's sort of not fair in anime. Like, this is the world where you join a gang at 9 and rise to leadership at 12 and then form a counter shadow agency league of your own like Teru did. Basically, at 30, you're, you're a grandfather. You're ready for retirement. My plan is to scour the internet for local hits about anything having to do with urban legends. Getting trending topics? Places where urban legends are popular tend to have a lot of people who believe in them living in that area. Tons of people there will be looking to buy an exorcism. He's sort of letting Mob in on this, uh, this scheme in a more honest way. Short. It was cheap. All of our money went to Takoyaki this month. Who gave you permission to do business here? Don't you know this area belongs to oh, me? Oh, we got a rival... Shinra. <laughs> a rival psychic. You're obviously not with the Rising Sun Spiritual Union. You can tell how spiritual is he is by the size of his spiritual accessories. If you're another con art. Because that's how that works. I mean, uh, businessman. <laughs> <laughs> I almost let that slip. Excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you, but are you really a psychic? Please exercise my face. Last time I searched for help on the internet, but all I found were a bunch of phonies. Hey. What is it you're right that. I've never even thought about making a website. I gotta up my own line. What? For real? I've managed to ward off its effects with salt, piling it on plates in my room. This lady knows knows oh, her, a thing or two about spirits. Refer to the efficacy of salt plates. Right. Especially the, the salt of the Himalayan variety. Salt on these fries to deter right. spirit intrusion. Right. Dash Granny, the red raincoat, and the dragger. Please get rid of the urban legends plaguing us. Leave it all to me. They got this. I'll take care of them. You'll also get a massage. Which course would you like to go with? Go with the full course is my recommendation. I say we split up and start questioning people. Here's my info. Be sure to stay in touch with any other. This is somewhat generous of him to include this. Whatever. Fine. Giant I guess I'll chuck this guy. up as charity. It's the reverse. Keep a close eye on the fat cell we're working with. Use your stealth mode. If anything bad should happen to him, as team leader, it'd be on me. <laughs> He's actually like taking responsibility for this guy. There's something wrong with this town. There may really be something sinister at work here. Oh, what the heck? Is that Dash Granny? Or is Dash Granny the dog? If we went around questioning little kids, somebody might call the cops. Wow, it's all people insulting one another. I remember my first time on the internet. <laughs> Although, I actually feel like, and this might just be specific to my internet habits, that the internet has gotten better. Like, obviously there's still a lot of hate on the internet, but I feel like it was just sort of a, a vacuum when it formed where suddenly people could talk to each other anonymously, but that there's this ongoing, almost evolutionary process of internet etiquette where it's getting a little bit better. Like, it's a more pleasant experience for me now. I mean, I'm proud and really happy to say that I feel like this community is one of the best possible examples of that. Like, it's pretty unbelievable how how great it is, <laughs> like, considering this is the internet and there are really, really controversial things that come up on this channel, yet, for the most part, people are just really, really cool. Oh, look! Somebody saw something. A man in red? Yeah, he was here a minute ago. I think we found the problem with the city. It's your playground design. You kids are sitting on fingertips. This guy is scaring me! Ah, sorry, I got excited. What? Not like that guy. This is exactly what Reagan was worried about. <laughs> oh no! Why are you looking at me? Ooh, dicey humor. Please, you misunderstood me! I'm this is not the trouble I thought we were gonna get into, but. Admittedly, this is pretty terrifying. You guys want to see real societal horror? Check out the, I think it's Swedish movie, The Hunt. It's not a horror movie at all, but it's terrifying in its depiction of a certain social phenomenon. Sounds pretty shady. Oh, hey, don't throw rocks at me. We just skipped with the whole trial part and the figuring out what's going on and we went right to stoning him. Come back. Was that him? I think we just found him. You're the oh no. Oh no! 
Ocarine. And, and then we started street, street fighting. Love this background with the, the kids with their cell phones. Let me go! You caught me. But he's gonna unleash a special attack. I knew it. I knew it. Flashing. Oh, running. Okay. <laughs> well, like flashing would have been deadly too. It would have been a one-hit KO. This is the human face. Well, we found true darkness in this town. Marker. I guess it was bad information. Nope. This is the real deal, all right. Is it Dash Granny. Are you three guys his grandsons? Huh? Why would you get back? <laughs> Listen up, you dirtbags! <laughs> face on this dog, and I will beat the living hell out of you! He said all that after he hit us. So much for being adults defending children, huh? What the world needs is more grown-ups who can put little brats like you in your place. Oh. But it won't work on me, Taro Suzuki. But you're still gonna use a fake name, huh? <laughs> Gotta protect yourself. Have you abused these children? You sure you don't just like dogs? Did you know the human face dog was a prank? Dog from lover the beginning? confirmed. Of course I did. There's not really a dog with an actual human face. Get real. You never know in this world. Too bad for you. I was in the sumo club in elementary school. You, but I was you in mentioned the ping pong that. Club in school. <laughs> I've got oh. a ton of stamina, so... Right. Nothing says stamina like Ping Pong Club. Now it's time to face justice! It's over, perv! You really think you trapped me, fat boy? Oh, he's got weapons. You out here. Yeah, that was sort of obvious. This all began as just a weird kink. But eventually, I started to get off on the whispers and rumors I heard about myself in town. It made me feel like a big man. It made me feel as powerful this as This is a very- god. As a god, you say. As a god, you say. Okay. I was gonna say, this is very on brand for, like, getting utility from weird things, but this is an angle I sort of didn't expect. But yeah, I mean, attention is attention, right? One thing I've learned from social media is that the worst thing is not hate. Uh, the worst thing is not negative attention. The worst thing is irrelevance. Like, being ignored, I think for most people, is a bigger death than being hated. Because being hated means you're significant. You know, being hated means people are noticing you. You're doing something of note. There's a fine line between hate and fear and therefore respect, if that makes sense. You don't waste emotional energy on people who are uneventful or unimpactful. Now and then you come across people on YouTube or celebrities also. And in, like, wrestling, like WWE, where if you're comfortable with it, if you're comfortable with being hated, that's actually a viable route to success. At least success among certain metrics, right? So I can understand how someone who just has nothing going on and who feels powerless and who feels worthless and doesn't know where to turn would highly enjoy notoriety, you know, would really get a thrill from being feared or hated or, or something like that. You're gonna turn me over to the cops! Is that it? Try it and see what happens, you pig! It's a little bit too close to an upskirt shot for me. Thanks. We've wandered into urban legend forest, it seems. No trespassing. This reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas, like the weird holiday forest. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, it's uh, watching me. Sadako. Hey, tell me, are you thirsty? Are you crazy or something? Yes, <laughs> she is. <laughs> it would appear. Tell me, are you thirsty? You already asked that. Then I'll give you plenty to drink. <laughs> what are we drinking exactly? Hopefully she doesn't make us swim in her lake. <laughs> oh no, we're swimming in her lake! <laughs> That's as far as you go! Oh, that was good. Legit has power. Impressive. Yeah. Interesting mid-card. I like it. Very stylish. I kind of like this as a, as a spirit. It's a little bit more horror-ish than some of the things we've gotten before. These like bright, colorful, bizarre-looking ghosts and stuff. This is actually legit terrifying. Look at this guy earning a place, earning some respect. I'll try pushing this guy's latent abilities to the limit. Here goes. Dibble, the ultimate support item. Are you thirsty? Are you flirting? Cause I'm not a He's got man the dimples. Who are too pushy. <sighs> the McDonald's makeup. They can move. Gotta keep him alive. This is an SOS. Is he talking into a rock? Let's go. Looks like he ran into the dragger. The dragger, right? That's what it's called. Oh no 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 no! Please don't rob right, rob tighten it, rob rice tighten it. I hate you. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it. Please kill her fast. You need to exorcise these things that she has. This fatso needs to hit the gym. I mean, he's doing great actually. Like he's flipping around the trees and cartwheels, etc. He's athletic for sure. Oh crap! Did he just get? Slice into sausages? Okay. 
she doesn't show up on the screen. It's a spirit. She's gone! That monster you just saw was created by rumors, which makes it hard to categorize her as real or fake. Oh, it's, uh, it's like Persona, Persona 1. I never believed in Santa Claus, but if I found myself alone on a street corner in the rain, I got goosebumps. Yeah, everyone believes on some level, even people who don't believe. We all know it. It's built, yeah, it's built into our DNA. Be terrified. The dark. She absorbs the energy of those who are frightened, getting stronger and stronger. Attacks will just make things worse. Then I guess all we can do is run. It's actually really cool. It's an awesome villain and a really great concept. There are different levels of reality, right? Like there's physical reality. There's sort of logical reality, I guess. Maybe there's some kind of universal truth out there. But I feel like spirits are real in the sense that we're condensing sort of abstract but real elements of the danger of nature and ancient threats to life into sort of stories and more recognizable forms. You know, like there are definitely things in this world that will grab onto you and drag you into a swamp to eat you. I've been to Florida. And that as a thing of life exists as a concept to be understood and felt. And it's probably instinctual. And it's not something you can fight directly since it's more of like an occurrence. It's like a thing that could happen. It's a thing that exists rather than a specific villain or monster or whatever. The only way to do anything manageable with that is to, I think, accept it and understand it and shine a light on it, so to speak, so that it's not as much of a lurking hidden threat. It's like a threat you can see, which is less terrifying and easier to deal with. We're done, mob. It's time to go. Uh, what the hell? I, I can't get out. It's the dragger. Okay. This is her doing. Hold into the swamp. And also my second form, which is thankfully devoid of holes. No, take a closer look at her. He's doing it. Of course he is. <laughs> I just feel confident whenever Mob is around. It swim across a lake in 20 seconds. I see. Oh, that is legit terrifying. You could at least pretend to be scared or surprised. This is why nobody wants to talk to you. Hold on. Well, that was what uncalled you said for. I didn't need to be like other people. That was also uncalled for. This shot. Here at the perfect time. Another tunnel. There she is. It's really her. Go for it, Mob. I have a feeling I understand why they call her Dash Granny. What the? Looking like the grandfather and get out. It might just be a lady running. What do we do? The only thing we can I feel like this turns out to be benign. Oh, what happens if he catches us? It's said that she grabs her victims from behind and struggles at the death. Oh no, mob. Sucks at running. <laughs> We've established this really well. All this track practice has been fruitless. <laughs> and mob eats it once again. Body improvement. <laughs> yeah, I know. I lost to an old woman. I was no ordinary old woman. I did get a photo for our client. I'd say we're done here. And with that, Dash Grant and it was extra grainy, which really sells it. That traumatized poor mob. I know running is pretty awful. I'm traumatized from track all these years later as myself. Oh, it's a new ending. Once again, mob turning around to look at us. Takoyaki. Loving the Takoyaki theme this season. What's your favorite anime theme, Alex? It's takoyaki. Where's Emmy? I'm like rooting for them now. What's with the flower? He was standing confidently in school and then he was sort of falling into a void in school. The flower. What is with the flower, mob? What is it for? What is it for? Both of the tunnel episodes of the show remind me of uh, a trip I took with a coworker where we basically did the whole island of Taiwan on bicycles. There was a night we just didn't plan well and we got stuck in the mountains really late at night. It was pitch black. And the last leg of it was this super long tunnel that looked just like it and it was completely empty. Except for the occasional truck that would barrel past. But yeah, there was something really surreal about it, like being in this long tunnel in the mountains really late at night after like 10 hours of biking. It is like that sometimes you, know, you can be outside somewhere or in a strange environment it has a life of its own i don't believe in ghosts i don't believe in the supernatural at least not in a literal sense but like i get that things have a life even if that life is just of our own perception and it's also going to be more than that because our perception is not formed in a vacuum our perception is formed from who we are and how the human species relates to nature and the world so there is a certain reality to spirits as they are reflected through our instincts and mood even if perhaps that level of reality is a more subjective level than other types of reality that we experience so yeah, season two, pretty, pretty great, pretty entertaining so far, and I also get the feeling like we're only just getting started. 